labor on in development. Barrington Boulevard was King Street. Now I remember doing something very similar to this last year on Thanksgiving time in the Halton region. Only thing is that there was even more in development in that specific neighborhood than this one. This one, as you can see, obviously still has its sidewalk and whatever. So here I am, just walking around it, just to check it out, see what it's all about. See the shopping center in the distance. I don't know if it's going to be more stores or houses here, but either way, it's looking pretty interesting. Actually, it looks like it might be houses. I mean, if I step here, I'm not going to get too close. You can see where the work that the excavator did, laying down the pipes. It's pretty cool exploring these neighborhoods, when they're even neighborhoods. See all the work that goes into it. All the digging, all the pipes being laid around the place. Now I'm not sure if this is my 400th video or not. I'd have to double check. So I'm not gonna call it so unless I'm certain. I suspect it might be, if not probably like the 300 98th, 399th, yeah, I know that's kind of random. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it's just something that came across my mind, so I figure I might as well mention it. Okay, it has been, gosh darn, I can't even see the time in this thing. It's so hard to see the timestamp with the sunlight, sunglasses, sanitary sewer drain. 2018, so you know it's a new neighborhood indeed. So we got the 2018 mark in. I suspect that these guys, uh, I don't know if they're not working because it's a long weekend or maybe they normally don't work on weekends. I know some construction crews do. Actually, no, I think most probably don't actually. Unless it's like something serious. Oh hey, look at this. Blue piping. Not sure what they're doing with that, but looks pretty cool either way. I'm gonna walk up here, see where that's going. Looks like somebody's actually on the road. Or are they stuck? Yeah, they look stuck to me. Bet your dollars and don't, yep, they're doing a U-turn. <laughs> uh, how often does that happen where you see somebody going down one of these roads, they find out it's a dead end, and they got a U-turn. Not sure if anybody's in there, so I'm gonna have to approach that rather carefully. I mean, I highly doubt it, but because I'm not 100% sure, I just wanna be careful. It doesn't hurt to just play it safe. Do I want to get close to those cardan tools or do I not? I don't know, you know, I might as well. I'm talking about them pointing to the camera out here. Uh, danger, construction. Yeah, they don't want anyone going in there. So, certainly not going to go in there. Well, you know, it's cat. Well, that one's cat. This one is cardan. Okay. That's interesting. But yeah, if this does turn out to be the 400th video, I'll make sure I proudly elaborate on that and a call to action. But until then, I will just leave it as something else. No, I think that road down there is just a long empty strip. I don't know how that Jeep 
got in there. I must have taken some road connecting to Clarington Boulevard to get in. Actually, I don't even know, to tell the truth. I don't know how he got in there. Maybe he climbed over that mountain up there. Talking about, let me see if I can point that one, by the way. Ah, oh, my fingers is that looks weird. Because that uh, iPhone 6S Plus is a camera, like in the top right corner. It's not very centralized like some phones. So yeah, I'm gonna walk down that road and figure out just how that Jeep even got there in the first place. You have to be careful because I obviously also don't want to have some cars coming. Uh, yeah, this pavement is feeling really fresh. Really, really fresh. Okay, not super, super fresh. It's only just paved, but fresh enough. And now we have these crazy crows. Crazy, crazy crows. Hear them. Well, I feel like I'm in a wasteland here. Dang. I feel like I'm in a wasteland. Really need to watch the stability here. So, check this out. Somewhere at somewhere, somewhere. Let's just call this approximately Clarington Boulevard and Green Road. So that's that. Okay, where should I go from here? Let's check out that body of water. I don't think it's going to be a storm, Jane. I really doubt it. It doesn't look deep enough. Maybe it might be, maybe it won't. I don't know. Probably try and go atop that hill. That'd be pretty interesting to get a view of my surroundings. If that's uh, some tape I can see ahead, then it makes it even more questionable and hilarious <laughs> as to how that Jeep got in there. But again, the only way I'll find out is if I come close enough. Okay, how muddy is this? I don't have my outdoor shoes on so I don't want to get too close yeah you can see oh, hold on. let me see if I can come down here so you can see the water rippling yeah can you see the water rippling I can okay there's me screaming in the distance don't know if you'll hear it I sure can so let's Go atop that hill now and call ourselves the king and I'm kidding. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this might actually be a bit of a challenge. No, you know, I think I can just come up here. I was thinking about coming over there, but I think if I just stay up here, I should probably be fine. Yeah, it's pretty grippy up here. It helps that it's not raining or something right now, because if it were, then that would be problematic. Ah, sitting right there. Okay, so now I'm on top of the hill officially, so I can get a good view of this area. Some houses right behind me. You can even see the train track ahead, because they, they were talking about a future GO train site for quite some time here, so I guess that comes in line with the plan. I, I mean, I'm not 100% sure if that's what it's for. So do not quote me on that. Because I don't know what Bowmanville is doing in regards to the GO train. All I know now is that I just got to be careful coming down here. Because it's going to be a bit of a bumpy mess. But if I came up alright, I should come back down just fine. Yeah, this looks pretty easy. I'm going to take my time and I should be alright Okay So that was not too bad There's the camera wobble there Okay, so It's been about 10 minutes now I guess 
I'll probably call it quits in front of that sign. Let's see if that pickup truck's gonna come in here. No, he's not. Oh gosh. Gotta keep this guy very steady. It is so jagged here on this train. Okay, is there anyone coming from that way? Nope, gotta check because of that Jeep. Well, no, not because of the Jeep. I'm not worried about the Jeep, but I'm just saying is that it could be surprise motorists. Okay. Well, that has been it for this development, this neighborhood that's under development. Now, we'll call it quits right here. Did you like this video? Do you know what they are going to build here? Comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, read my blog for information, and visit my Twitter page for my latest tweets. And do not forget to also participate in the polls located in the top right corner in the eye circle. Why does this video have such dramatic stream music for the outro? I do not know. I can only advise you to run away from it. I'm out.